Hello everybody and welcome to the unveiling of the new Hopper 3 Dish Advanced Whole Home DVR system. Here it is out of the box. Here is the new remote. It's the Dish 52.0 remote. And it's actually really nice that it does just take two AA batteries now instead of the four AAAs of the 40.0 remote. And it's got these nice buttons on the side for the inputs. And we've got the power on. And they've consolidated a lot of the buttons on this remote. This is not the voice remote, however. That has not been released yet. So let's go ahead and switch our TV input. This is not a 4K TV, but we can at least see this thing fire up for the first time. Here we go. So was on the wrong right input. There we go. We are a nationwide dish authorized retailer. We can sign you up wherever you're at. Get you this nice piece of equipment. 16 tuners. You can tile four different tuners on one 4K TV. And there's a slew of other options that this receiver comes with. Also, one notable addition to the Hopper 3 is the USB 3 port on the back. So if you've got a USB 3 external hard drive to expand the storage of your DVR, you've got plenty of space and plenty of speed. There is now a front USB port as well as a redesigned flip down. Looks like it did some sort of update already and then rebooted itself. I've got four of them in stock right now. It should be released in any day now. So I'll try out another one just to see if it does this entire process again. These do require the new hybrid LNB, and it does require a different hub. But they did eliminate the node and the integrator, and also the Super Joey, who needs it when you've got 16 tuners. So it did, uh, did really make the wiring a lot easier on these. You've got your normal power menu info. Your up, down, left, right, system info, options, and locate remote, and also a big red reset button. This is a little magnetic flap up here. It's starting up again. Let's see if it actually goes to the tuner screen where it will see the satellites and start its download. Nice new interface on the check switch.
as installers we always pre-do the downloads saves us a bunch of time when we're on site and then not sure about the hopper 3 I'm sure they'll follow the same path but the hopper 2's once you had the download on it the Super Joey and Joey's would pull from the Mocha network and update from the hopper so at first we were pre-downloading them too but that got to be a pain and they were relatively quick once they were installed to download and reboot relatively easy to replace the LMB just undo the two Phillips screws pull it off unscrew your connectors screw one of the lines into port one on the LMB and then that one goes to to ODU on the new solo hub and then so you replace the solo node and the integrator if you have one with the solo hub that will actually allow you to do a hopper and two joeys anything above that requires a tap or a duo hub well they definitely didn't speed up the switch installation check all right got good signal on those two satellites reception is verified UI does look a little bit nicer. Not sure why it's only showing three tuners. I wonder if it multiplexes somehow. Put the 16 tuners on to those. Or if it just activates three to do the installation and then activates the rest. Definitely didn't speed this up. The Hopper 2 would have been downloading the software already. Not sure why it says NC on the node. It is on a hybrid solo hub. Starting the download. Wonder if it actually gives you a progress bar or these lines just continue to go across the stream. Oh, okay, progress bar with a counter. That's nice. Seems to be moving pretty quickly, so the updates are already in the stream. I can't wait to be able to activate some of these.
there is a smart card slot on the side of the receiver now there's more of a beveled edge however it does not include a smart card there is one integrated on the board I believe Same box, different sticker. It's just about done. We'll see how long it takes to reboot. And apply the update. Must be Windows based. Runs all the way to 98 and then hangs. <laughs> they also did say on the retailer chat that the Joey 2s are supposed to be much faster than the previous Joey's. Haven't seen yet how many Joey's you're able to add to the account. But I would guess with 16 tuners, they may actually let you add more than the previous receivers. Still stuck there on 98%. Again, we are a DISH authorized dealer. We can help you get this new fancy piece of equipment. Professional install. Upgrades are available for current customers. And 100%. I'm a little bit surprised that Dish decided to go with the same 2 terabyte size hard drive. But really, if you need more storage than that, the USB 3 port should help out a lot. Go ahead and hook a 5 terabyte external to it. Relatively low money. And you'll have a total of 7 terabytes on your hopper. Looks like they've added diagnostic codes to each window. Probably so if you have to call support, you can tell them the number. And they can know which screen you're on. some of the important buttons right to the top. Let me focus on this. Home, apps, DVR, guide, back, options, info, and search. And you've got some nice shiny 
power buttons. More of an integrated multi select. DVR buttons are all integrated. Play and pause are the same button now. Do not see a stop. Do, however, like the larger volume and channel buttons and the central mute. It's got the nice red edge, matches the hopper. be interesting to see if the lights actually flash like the old remote when you do the locate remote feature or if the remote lights up let's press a button okay the set button light up lit up okay. let's see if we do volume and the TV lights up that's kind of a nice feature so I would assume that's where it'll flash when you do the remote finder. It does not appear to be backlit. And our receiver's memory is still being programmed. This is why we do this at the uh, office before we go on an install. We're at almost 18 minutes. Still not able to even pair a remote or activate. Saves us a bunch of time on the install. As soon as we get one of these activated here in the next couple days, I'll do another video showing you all the features and demoing some of the system. Dish has released different upgrade pricing tiers depending on how long you've been a customer and you're standing with Dish. So if you want, go ahead and contact us, and we can see where you're at. See if you can get a free upgrade to the Hopper 3. They also now have a 4K Joey. So if you've got a 4K TV, or multiple 4K TVs, you can get the 4K Joeys. I'm not sure exactly what all content's going to be available on them. I assume all the 4K content from Netflix will be available. And it's yet to see what all is going to come over the satellite stream. would also be nice if they'd allow more than one connection over the sling now that we have more tuners. Okay, crossing the 20 minute mark now.
Okay, there's a refresh in progress. I'm just going to do another check switch. Guess it forgot the last one. That one did go much quicker so far. Okay, let's go check for updated hopper software again. This is normal, the old receivers used to do this. Hopefully with a few software updates they can uh, speed this up some. Word is uh, YouTube is going to be coming to the Hopper 3. And it looks like it's going to do another update. This update does seem to be taking a little bit longer. Possibly there's two areas that are flashed. The boot section and then the actual receiver software.
was a surprise that Dish decided to redesign the remote. Kept almost the same remote design for many, many years. But I guess everything good comes to an end. couple of cool new items coming out too is the voice search remote and then also the hopper go hopper to go which is where you can transport your recordings anywhere you go Okay, 100% complete on the download at 30 minutes. Let's see where we go from here. Possibly a reboot and another check switch. Okay, looks like we didn't have to reboot for that one, and we can now pair the remote by pressing the SAT on the receiver, or on the remote, and I don't think I put the remote antenna on, let me get it closer. The remote antenna on now. The same beep.
surprising that this actually is taking longer than the previous model. Possibly because I didn't have it close. Yeah, we still got a battery level. Alright, let's go ahead and hit next. We can actually name it the receiver ID, which is interesting. Okay, we'll put it as a kid's room. Exercise room, that's a new one. Family room. Okay. okay. It's got a nice little counter bar. You can keep the setting. settings in the internet. Looks like there's a basic and advanced. Wireless setup. Oh, there's an advanced setup there. And it looks like the back button does not get you out of this. There's a different back button. Let's check out the advanced. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, bridging. Yes, I would highly recommend not going into the advanced settings and messing with that. Now we're waiting again.
Okay. Alright, let's go ahead. Okay. Looks like it was able to automatically select the resolution of the TV. This is not a 4K TV. And it does give you the software version number. ENS1. And it looks like you can retest the connectivity while you're on the activation screen. So now with the old receivers, there used to be a trick to get into the menus. You could hit sysinfo. And you would go to locate Link Joey's, but I don't see that here. Page to scroll. Let's see what we got here. Well, there is no page up and down. I do see it says the switch there is a hybrid twin Eastern Arc. Point two and it feeds one through sixteen. I do see the application software it looks like it's still in beta. Jump scroll. There's Hopper Go status, Hopper Go version, and the Hopper Go SSID. So let's try pressing menu while we're in this screen. That doesn't work like it used to. Let's check the locate remote feature. Okay. Looks like it does beep, but it does not flash anymore. Looks like they've taken away our uh, way to get into the menu from the sysinfo screen. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed the video, the uh, initial setup and downloads for the new DISH Hopper 3 receiver. If you're interested in getting this fine piece of equipment, contact us below.